Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about the idea of hurting someone's feelings, which I put in quote because I think it's a little bit of a problematic idea. It's an idea that I was taught a lot while growing up, in school, at home, I heard people say a lot like, don't do that, you'll hurt his feelings, you'll hurt her feelings, or it's like, oh, so-and-so hurt that person's feelings. And I think that this way of thinking is a little bit problematic because lurking in the idea of hurting someone's feelings is the idea that what you do directly causes an emotional response. Whereas the way I think about things now is that there's this extra layer in there. You do something and then the person processes it through how they think about things, through their beliefs and their thoughts, and then that generates the emotional reaction. The reason I think this is important is that you can't always predict how people will react to things, and I think that the idea that you did something wrong just because someone else got upset in response to what you did is a really dangerous idea. I want to give a really basic illustration of why this idea is problematic, and that's sex. Say someone wants to have sex with you, and you say, no, I don't want to do that, and they get upset with you. I think it's really problematic for you to assume that you did something wrong by turning them down. And if you believe that you did, that can allow anyone to kind of manipulate you into sex. And this is something that actually happens, I think, because of the way people are socially conditioned. I've heard that people feel a lot of pressure to have sex because they don't want to hurt their boyfriend's feelings or their girlfriend's feelings, things like that. I actually have felt this pressure myself. Thankfully, I haven't given in to it, but it's a real problem. So going back to the idea of hurting someone's feelings, I think it's much better to think about having your own value system, your own idea of how you want to treat other people in order to treat them respectfully, and to hold yourself to that. To say like, okay, I want to act in a way that is honest, truthful, I want to speak honestly to people, I want to speak respectfully to them. That may look different for different people. But then if you just speak your mind and you're speaking honestly and respectfully, and someone gets upset with you, frankly, I think most of the time that's their problem. And I don't think you have a responsibility to deal with that necessarily. I don't think it means you necessarily did anything wrong just because they got upset with you. There have been times when I've brought up a concern in some sort of situation, and I've done it in a way that I thought was perfectly respectful, and someone else there has gotten really upset with me. It's something that happens. I mean, people have all sorts of things going on inside their head. We don't necessarily know what's going on. I think it's important to not take that personally if someone reacts negatively to you. That gets back to this idea of hurting someone's feelings. I want to encourage you to not be afraid of hurting someone's feelings and to acknowledge that people may respond in unexpected ways to you, whether it's turning them down for sex or pointing out some sort of problem in some situation that you're talking about. It could be anything. People sometimes have these unexpected reactions to things. And if you acknowledge that, and you focus on the question of what are my values, am I acting respectfully towards this person, am I being honest with them, I think that's a much better sort of moral compass to guide your behavior than the idea of not hurting someone's feelings. So I hope this has been useful and thought-provoking. Thank you.